73-year-old Marvin Maple is accused of kidnapping his grandchildren 20 years ago in Tennessee when they were 7 and 8 years old and raising them in San Jose as his own kids. At the Southside Cafe, where Maple is known by the assumed name John Bunting, his friends are just plain shocked. They say he was a regular here who drank non-alcoholic juice cocktails and seemed to be a friendly, caring father of two. You know, he's talked about his kids and, you know, was very proud of them and very gentle soul. His kids are actually his grandchildren who are known in San Jose as Jonathan and Jennifer Bunting. Their true identities are Bobby and Christy Baskin from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and they're now 27 and 28 years old. Maple and his wife, who is now deceased, raised the children into successful adults and put them through college. But the 1989 kidnapping case was never closed. Don't know the boy, Jennifer, as we call her, is just a very pretty little girl. Very pretty and uh, nice, sweet as can be. And uh, she always calls him dad. So that's all I'm state of Tennessee as soon as possible. Thank you, sir. Today, a Santa Clara County judge ordered Maple back to Tennessee to stand trial. For now, his friends are sticking by him and say the whole thing is surreal. In my own mind, I'd have to say that he must have had a real good reason. Um, you know, that doesn't make it right, I guess, but uh, what I know of him, you know, he must have had a great, real great reason. But the law finally caught up with Marvin Maple. He's been gone for 20 years. Um, it took 20 years for us to locate him, so. Maple has two other daughters besides Debbie, the mother of his grandchildren, and police say those two daughters seem to be siding with their father, not their sister. One of them lives here in Murfreesboro, but she declined to talk with us. But others claiming to be family members have blogged online in defense of Maple. This one-sided media story is substantiated only by what the Baskins say and what was found in Rutherford County's legal system. This was, is, at best a flawed, understaffed, overworked court system in Murfreesboro, or at worst a prejudiced and corrupt local legal system with close friends of the Baskins. But Bill Sharp, the lead detective, says there was never any evidence of child abuse 20 years ago. And even if there was, Maple had no right to kidnap his own grandchildren. And now Sharp wonders if others helped Maple take and conceal the children for all of these years. It's still an open investigation. There's, there's other avenues that we have to look into. When you say other avenues, could, could there be other arrests? Is that, uh, I, is that I, a possibility? I can't answer this because it's an open investigation right now. They don't want to say much. Investigators won't say who they're looking at, but they do indeed believe that others likely knew Maple was in California with the grandkids, but said nothing about it. That could be a crime. And Nick, tonight Maple remains in jail? Rory, he does on $1 million bond, but today in court, his attorney said that he wanted to have that lowered, that it's too much. A judge will decide at a hearing later this month. All right, Nick, thanks. Uh, Mark and Debbie Baskin, the parents of the two children, returned from San Jose, California earlier today. Their children still refuse to meet with them.